Okay, so in this segment of the short game, we've been going over the difference between a chip shot and a pitch shot, explaining what a sand wedge does and how it should be used, leading edge or bounce. So there's differences between these two shots across the board. So that's one right there that I just mentioned. The difference when you're chipping, you use the leading edge of the club, and when you're pitching, you use the bounce, okay? What are some of the other differences between a chip shot and a pitch shot? Well, here's one. I've got this green stick here to outline the center of my stance, if you will. And what I want to show you is that if I'm chipping the ball, I would play this ball, the ball that's more to the back of my stance. And if I'm pitching the ball, I would play this ball, the ball that's more forward. And you can notice some of the changes that take place just by changing the ball position. By playing the ball that's more back in my stance, it really introduces the leading edge to the ground, and it creates a little more angle with the hands ahead, which is what we want. When I dress the ball that's more forward in my stance, immediately you notice that the shaft becomes more vertical. It doesn't have that forward tilt. And in doing that, it exposes the bounce more. So simply by changing ball positions, the ball back really promotes a chip shot and the ball forward promotes a pitch shot. Although you can vary those and play around with them, you can go ahead and pitch the ball from the back of your stance if you can lay the club open and use the bounce. I recently heard that Phil Mickelson said, that he never plays the ball in the center of his stance. He either plays it in the back of his stance or the front of his stance. That means that when he plays it in the back of the stance, he's using a low type trajectory. And when he's playing it in the front of the stance, he's using a higher type trajectory. Here's another simple way to understand the difference between a chip and pitch. So first I'm gonna chip this ball. So I'm gonna move this one out of my way and give you an example. When I'm chipping, it's a low shot that rolls. So guess what my finish position looks like? Here you go. If I'm hitting a chip shot, I'm going to finish low down here. Notice how I haven't come up at all. But if I'm pitching the ball, notice the difference in how I release my body. Notice how I allow my body to release. So again, I'm going to go over the three primary differences for you to understand between a chip shot and a pitch shot. The first one is if you're chipping, you use the leading edge, and if you're pitching, you use the bounce. The second one is ball position. If you're chipping, the ball should be to the right of the center. The farther back, the lower it goes, the more it'll roll. If you're pitching, the ball should be to the front of the center or to the left of the center, and the farther forward, the higher it goes and the less it rolls. And lastly, remember, if you're hitting a low shot, finish low. So when you hit a chip, you should finish right down here, release your head and see the results. But if you're pitching, you need to use your body more. So we need to release the body into a high finish. So that's the difference between chipping and pitching. And when you're more clear on those two shots, you're going to become a better golfer.